actually not as bad as I was expecting. The acceleration's just really slow, but. So we're going to head to Home Depot to pick up some supplies for the floor like the plywood and the 2x4s and insulation. Most likely we probably won't be able to install that today but we will make sure to put some content up which will be us driving the bus, hopefully if the audio is good enough to you know, release to YouTube. And then what our process is of uh, buying the supplies we need for our floors. So yeah, um, also we'll probably try to get some other shots, some random nature shots of like where we live and whatnot, and uh, we'll do that for you guys. And if it works out well, we'll put it in the video. When I was trying to get the shots of Christina driving, um, I didn't notice that I was standing on top of a huge anthill. So when Christina came back to pick me up, I felt something crawling on my neck and I, I go to grab it and it's an ant. And then all of a sudden I look down and there's just a ton of ants just crawling over me. And I just went out in full panic mode. Jumped out the moving car almost. It's not that I'm afraid of ants. I just don't like a bunch of them crawling on me all at once, ganging up on me and stuff. Since I have a small Toyota and Nate has a Jeep that's not quite big enough to do the job, we need to borrow my dad's truck to go get the supplies for our floor, which is a really big help because otherwise we wouldn't really have a way to do it. So thank you so much, Dad. Installing these floors is a major step for Christina and I because that means we can start building the structure and the walls of our bus. And um, we won't be separating rooms because we want it as open as we can get it considering the fact that the bus is so small as is. And we do not plan on covering up any windows. We want as much natural light as we can get so it doesn't feel so claustrophobic in there. And uh, yes, I'm just, I'm really excited about, you know, getting this thing actually looking like a home. Beast. Buddy? Oh, who got that boy? Well, I kid you not, I was standing in front of my girlfriend's dad garage and I noticed like a little pinch down in my pants. <laughs> At first I kind of ignored it, but then I thought, I was like, oh, I just got attacked by ants. So maybe there's an ant down there. I, I, I ignored it and then I felt a pinch again. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I go rush into the bathroom, I pull my pants down and uh, you don't need details, but let's just say there was an ant exactly where I didn't want it to be. <sighs> Screw you, Ant. The windows are so much bigger in this thing. So much more space. Maybe we should get a truck. My dream truck is a Ford Raptor, and uh, someday I'm gonna own that. Your dream car, tell them that. Dodge Challenger. Christina wants a muscle car, which I don't discriminate on. I would also like for her to get a Dodge Challenger so I can drive it as well. Nope. My all-time dream vehicle are Jeeps. 
uh, someday hope to get my dream Jeep. The Jeep I have now is amazing, but it's not quite my dream Jeep, and um, someday I'll own that too. check out the photo store so we can see if there's any better lenses for this camera because the the lens we're currently using right now on this camera it's way too zoomed in so we want to try to find something that's a little bit more wider and I'm sure you didn't hear any of that because the radio was on so thanks are you excited about the new lens I am excited super nice so much better. Sweet Take care. Have a good Thank one. You. See you later. We went in to buy a wide angle lens and we came out with a 50 millimeter lens. We ended up purchasing the uh, 50 millimeter lens for our camera, which is also known as the Nifty 50. And uh, hopefully, we can get some better quality shots for you guys. We can get more cinematic and more B roll type shots for you guys. Just got two keys made for our bus because we only have one one actual key so we wanted to keep it safe and have two extra spare keys so uh on to home depot so we just got to home depot i'm about to go get our plywood insulation some stuff to hold down the insulation like glue um i think that's maybe it two by fours you got the keys i have the keys okay let's do it what we're gonna get first is glue to hold down the insulation on the floor and also glue for the wood that's gonna go around the perimeter of the bus so that stays in place as well so it's not moving around and shifting it or anything. we need now is some glue for the 2x4s that we're going to be gluing up to the floor. We're going to be using glue instead of nails so we can prevent putting new holes and prevent rust damage onto our floors that we just cured. So that's the route I think we're going to go. Is that also Loctite? It is Loctite. We're going with Loctite brand everything. Lock tight, lock tight. Now hopefully that's the right choice. It should be. So we're gonna get six pieces of plywood. Um, we're kind of just estimating that there's like at least 190 square feet of space a floor that we need to cover up so we're kind of just going with six pieces uh, whatever we don't use for the floor we'll end up using for something else I'm sure so we're not really concerned of anything going to waste because we will end up using it so that's what we're doing right now is grabbing the six pieces of this stuff I feel like six is too much yeah. but we shall see if Christina did her math problem we really shouldn't leave it up to that because <laughs> um, I was kind of just guesstimating. I think I did it right. I don't know though. I always have sucked at math. Um, six does sound like a lot, but it's better to have too much than too little because we don't want to have to drive all the way back up here because it is kind of far from where we live. So we got our pieces of plywood. Oh my gosh, I'm going to run into something. So now we need to find figure out what kind of insulation we need. So when I say we have no experience with this whatsoever, I absolutely mean it. We are so lost in this store and we're just trying to figure out what kind of plywood to get, 
what kind of insulation to get, what size, and it's just, it's, it's actually pretty nerve wracking. So we're just gonna try to use our best judgment and hopefully it works out. We don't really know what we're supposed to be getting. Um, we probably should have did a little more research, but we kind of just dove in. So Nate's gonna go and look for an employee that can come and help us and maybe just have us, maybe just determine which one of these we should get because we want to get the right insulation because it's a pretty important part of the bus so we want to do it right the first time. So they didn't have the insulation that we wanted so we're gonna go check Menards and see if they have it there and then come back and get our plywood. <coughs> so uh, this trip is becoming a long trip and a very I already want it to be done trip. So we came to Menards to the insulation section and immediately found what we were looking for. Um, the Home Depot didn't have this size, but we wanted to get this insulation in one and a half inch. And they have it here, so I think we're gonna pick it up right now, go back to the Home Depot, pick up our plywood, and then hopefully take it all home. Probably eat before we go home because I'm really hungry. But yeah, it's actually nice that we found it that quick. And we're just gonna get a two by four to put up against it and make sure that it's like even because we don't want an air pocket between the two by four and the insulation. We want it to be really flush. Make sure we're getting all the right size. Yeah. Stuff ain't cheap. I feel like five pieces is too much. Should we do four? I mean, we can't always come back to get one extra one. Yeah, and we can always cut it down too. How long is it? This is what happens when you don't measure things. <laughs> we don't have anything to hold the insulation down in the back of the truck because we haven't bought the plywood yet. And it's super light. Um, so we don't want it flying out while we're driving. So Nate is going to go buy a brick because I guess bricks are like two dollars so he's in there right now he's gonna buy a brick that we can set on top of it because once we have the plywood on top it won't be a problem and I just have to drive home very slowly well I'm pretty sure we picked up everything we need except for the screws to screw down the plywood to the two by fours but other than that um we got it all hopefully um, we kind of just went with our best judgment and got what we thought would be correct for our bus. So we'll see how all that turns out. We made it home safe and sound and we're gonna end the video off here. The next video you guys will see will be us installing our subflooring and our insulation. Like we say in all our previous videos, always stay positive.